So right here we have 22 millimeter fork legs, wide mouth pitchforks that is. And Thomas is over here doing... What are you doing, Thomas? I'm doing the 15 degrees cap cut. So we're gonna weld a cap right here, and then that way the dropout will get welded right like that. All right, thank you, Thomas. 15 degree calf cuts being cut by your man right there. Thank you. So down the welding aisle today, we are working on 18 inch ATF frames. We got Eric about to weld this one up right now. That's 18 inch ATF frames in the works. That's the front triangle that Eric is welding up right now. Looks like we got a batch of 52 millimeter Enduro V2 stems in. And Rita's assembling them all right now. These are polished. Look at that shine right there. As always, Rita's gonna make sure everything's perfect. Box them up and then off to you guys. 52 millimeter Enduro V2 stems polished in stock now. We got Matt over here working on ATF XL seat stays. He's, uh, he's roll marking USA on there right now. Let's check that out. Made in America right there, buddy. Just like that, ATF XL frames in the works. Thank you, Matt. All right, it's Wednesday morning, 10 a.m. here at the building. It's about 1 billion degrees, but that's not gonna slow us down. No, sir. Let's see what we're getting into today. Looks like we got a bunch of bikes heading out of here today to Mr. B's Bicycles in Yuma, Arizona. They're picking up 20 inch, 18 inch, 16 and 14 inch bikes. We also have four down distribution, picking up a bunch of bikes. This is their bike order. We also have a ton of product being packaged up right now. Julio's on that right now. Tons of s and Fit product heading out of here today to the United Kingdom. We also have another order for All Ride BMX Distribution in Germany, picking up a bunch of s and and Fit product. So if you're in Germany, you're looking for s and or Fit, hit up All Ride BMX Distribution. It's just 10 a.m. We're getting started here today. Well, it looks like the 18 inch ATF frames are fully welded up, ready to go to paint, probably today. You got Jaime over here cleaning up a couple of the frames because they're gonna be gloss clear. He's got a bunch more to go through right here. Another rack over here. Looks like the welding aisle is in full blown fork mode. You guys aren't forking around, are you? All right. Fresh back in the stock this week, we now have Edwin De La Rosa BTM shirts in blue. These sold out so fast the first time, we decided to make another run. If you didn't get a chance to jump on the first run, I highly suggest you pick one of these up before they're gone again. Look how cool that logo is on the back. Let's check out the front. Edwin Del Rosa, BTM shirts in blue. Pick them up. We got Stu Johnson in the building today. What are you in the building for today, Stu? What's up, James? I am here to pick up a couple of fit completes for some good buddies of mine who uh, need some sweet rides and also have a little powwow with the big man, Chris Moeller, about a potential Dog Bites podcast in the future. Podcast slash variety show slash whatever the hell is going to happen. I don't know. We're working on it. Got the ideas going and uh, just pitch it to him, convincing him it should happen. So hopefully we'll see something like that. Mm, I don't know about sooner than later, but who knows. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by. All right. Thanks for having me. We got REA Levinson in the building today. What are you up to, REA? How's it going, guys? Everyone who watches Factory Friday, I'm in the building to pick up some fresh products to get the whip looking a little better. So I got the, uh, the Chrome Long Johnson seat post and the Credence Reynolds grips. These are my personal favorite grips. And yeah, thank you guys so much. Thank you s and for all the support. And uh, back to you guys at Factory Friday. All right, thanks for stopping by, man. Thank you guys. It's Thursday morning here at the building. The Scotchman is already rocking. It's cutting material for the 775 race handlebars. Gotta love that sound. Thomas, what are you polishing, Thomas? I am polishing what's gonna become the crossbar for the Hoder Super High. Hoder Super High crossbars. Now, 
one of the many steps on that handlebar. We're gonna go see what else is going on over here in the machine shop. Looks like a billion bars are heading out of here today to paint. Got Jaime wrapping up the racks right now. We're expecting the paint shop truck to arrive any minute. Also, the 18 inch ATF frames have been completed. They're wrapped up, ready to go off the paint as well. And BTM frames. All kinds of stuff in the works here today. Hi, man. Happy Thursday. We have another pallet of Fit 2023 Complete Bikes heading out of here today. This pallet is heading out of here to Cape Bicycle and Fitness in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Picking up a bunch of 20 inch, 18 inch, 22 inch, and 26 inch Complete Bikes. Cape Bicycle and Fitness. Your bikes are on the way. All right, we got Jason over here unloading a bunch of 24 inch ATF frames. Are those new colors? Yeah. All right, we'll get those, get that rack unwrapped, dig into those new colors, and off go the BTM frames and 18 inch ATF frames and all the handlebars. Hey, Chris, what are you doing? Yeah. Pondfest merch. Last year we didn't have anything because it wasn't really Pondfest. It was the 35th anniversary SM and Fit party. This year's Pond Fest. So we're gonna have some t-shirts for sale, uh, courtesy of our Dylan Ambrose here, Long Beach screen printing, Press Industries. Press Industries. We're gonna have some hats. We got a patch here. We're gonna have some other items. Uh, everything's gonna be cash only uh, because we don't have internet down there. So no square reader, no, no credit cards. So bring some cash if you wanna get some merch and while we're on the subject of Pond Fest, a lot of people have been hitting me up. Who's invited? Well, if you ride an s &M, you ride a Fit, or you're friends with us, you like what we're doing, you're all invited. We go to Springs, Colorado, August 4th through the 6th. Now, if you're a weirdo, you want to come down there with your car covered in cult stickers, you don't want to talk to anybody, you want to try and you know camp off in the corner and just be weird, don't come. Stay home. But if you're cool, you want to have a good time, come on out. We'll see you there. Let's, uh, let's dig into that merch a little bit more. All right. Yeah, we were uh, in a hurry there with Dylan in the building, but he's uh, on his way back to the shop. Press LBC in Long Beach. If you need uh, some silk screening or uh, some hats, that kind of thing. So, like I said, we don't have internet, so it's all cash down there. I'm going to try and keep the prices as reasonable as possible. These are just a couple of the things uh, that I have planned for merch at the event. First up is this little patch. This is a logo we did, geez, probably a year ago or something, but turns out there was someone else doing a Smokey the Bear logo. I wasn't aware of that. So instead of putting it on a shirt, we just repurposed it here with a little shield made it the Pond Fest, uh, made it a Pond Fest logo. Since our house is right at the uh, corner with a Forest Service building, we look at Smokey the Bear all the time. That's what kind of made us think about it. He's got the little s and socks on. So that's the only place you're gonna see this, or maybe a little sticker, but no t-shirt. Um, so patches will be for sale. I'm not sure about pricing on that, but we'll figure it out. Probably somewhere in $5 range. These are a couple sample hats with another logo that our a buddy of APOC Designs did for us. Um, we're probably gonna do more of a tan or a brown a green, dark green mesh back hat with this design on it. That's something that Dylan's making for us. So that's just a sample. This isn't really the hat. So those will be available. We've got that same logo on a next level 3600 um, shirt. And this is a full discharge print. So it's not like a plastisol print where it's real sticky or anything it's really really soft it's kind of kind of vintage so that will have a front print front print will probably be a little bit bigger but it'll be in this sort of sand whatever they call this mocha maybe i don't know what to call that and then we've got another a black tee with a logo that evan did evan fisher did and i'll have that one here in a few days and i'll have a sticker pack that's got Evan's logos in there, uh, as well as a couple other Pond Fest logos. So 
Yeah, that's new for this year, having some merch. Like I said, the event's free, camping's free, everything's free, but if you feel like bringing some cash and buying some merch, that will help out with our expenses and just be a cool little memento. So yeah, uh, maybe next week's episode of Factory Friday, we'll have a couple more items we can show and then the stuff will be available exclusively at the event. So we'll see you there.